Hey guys, Ebert here with Hardware Connects, and today Razer announced their new Blade Studio lineup of notebooks. Now, what's really interesting about this particular lineup is that Razer is actually implementing NVIDIA's new Quadro RTX graphics cards. What does that mean? Well, if you're really into serious content creation, like if you're working in a studio environment, particularly movie industry, or if you're someone whose you know, particular workflow requires heavy CUDA processing, or if it requires a lot of CUDA cores, and of course, if you're getting into ray tracing and development, all that kind of stuff, this is something that you might be interested in. So let's take a look at the Blade Studio right after a message from our sponsor. Huge thanks to Fantex and SteelSeries for making Computex 2019 possible. Okay, so I do need to give you guys a little bit of context as to where the Blade Studio lineup of notebooks stack up within the rest of the notebook competition. You see, this is not really a gaming notebook because of the hardware that's featured. Uh, it's really, like I said, geared for a lot of people who are serious about uh, their you know, particular workflow. So if you're working with a lot of rendering programs, or if you're you know, in a movie industry, not to mention considering the power that these notebooks feature, I don't think it's gonna do that great in terms of battery life. Plus, uh, it's also not a significant update in terms of design from the existing mainstream laptops. And what do I mean by that? Well, as you can see by these press images, the Blade Studio 15 and the Blade Studio 17 come in this anodized white mercury finish. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be getting the matte black variant uh, like what you can find on the Blade 15 and the Blade Pro 17 notebooks, which are again, the mainstream options that Razer offers. What really matters is the specs inside. So for starters, the 15 inch notebook will feature a Core i7-9750H six core 12 thread CPU. So the same found on the Blade 15, but the 17 inch notebook will feature the Core i9-9880H eight core 16 threaded monster. So that's two extra cores compared to the Blade Pro 17 notebook. Uh, and do keep in mind that this is a 45 watt CPU. So cooling is certainly something that I'm interested in. I mean, considering the size of the chassis, it shouldn't have a problem, but I'm interested to see how far uh, it can or how well it can cool this Core i9 chip. But at the same time, I'm also interested to see how the clock speeds fare in, you know, in this setup, considering that it's eight cores and 16 threads. The reason I say this is because Apple just recently rolled out this new eight core 16 threads chip into their Mac MacBook Pros, and from the recent performance analysis that I've been looking online, uh, it just looks like the chassis just can handle uh, the powerful CPU. Something else that really caught my attention is the new Blade Studio lineup of notebooks don't have support for Intel's Xeon processors or ECC memory support. And I feel like ECC is pretty important, especially for serious content creators, because if you're rendering, uh, you know, in intensive 3D assets or something like that, uh, ECC memory can come in super beneficial. And I'm certain, I'm pretty sure that certain applications will take advantage of uh, ECC. So it is interesting. And if you're someone who's working in the creative industry, uh, let me know your thoughts about, you know, whether or not if ECC memory is valuable, uh, particularly in your workflow. The rest of the specs includes 32 gigabytes of RAM that comes standard, uh, but it can be upgraded up to 64 gigabytes. Uh, it also starts at a one terabyte NVMe storage. Although do keep in mind that the 17 inch variant might have an extra M.2 slot for expandability, just like the Blade Pro 17. The display on the Blade 15 Studio is a 4K OLED panel at 60 Hz, whereas the one on the Blade 17 Studio will feature a 4K OLED panel at 120 Hz. Now this is an interesting implementation because when we checked out the Blade Pro 17, those laptops are only being offered in 1080p uh, variants at a high refresh rate and not something uh, with a higher resolution. So I feel like Razer was sort of planning this whole thing out with rolling out high resolution displays with their Pro or their 17 inch notebooks later this year and it looks like we're only getting OLED. Uh, the other thing that really is really, really, really weird is that as a content creator myself, I don't see OLED particularly interesting because as, again, a content creator, uh, OLED is definitely too saturated and I don't think when I'm grading or color grading videos, I'm gonna get the accurate implementation or the accurate representation uh, when I'm you know, doing that stuff. So especially for people who are serious into doing color work or whatnot, I feel like the OLED option might be a bit too aggressive. So uh, I wanna hear your thoughts about that in the comments down below. Do you think OLED uh, is really necessary for a notebook? Port selection looks pretty decent, at least from the press images that you're seeing. There's power in three USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, Thunderbolt 3 ports, but do keep in mind that the Blade Studio 17 will feature a UHS 3.0 card reader, whereas the Blade 15 Studio will not, which is disappointing. Basically, the new Studio lineup of notebooks look exactly the same as what Razer is offering with their mainstream laptop or mainstream options, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I personally like the way how they look, but again, you know, would you have liked to see Razer sort of tweak the design here and there a little bit? 
Uh, would love to know your thoughts about that in the comments. The main star of the show here is the implementation of NVIDIA's new RTX Quadro GPUs. And this is particularly interesting, especially from a company like Razer, who's trying to target a different type of audience, not necessarily gamers, because if you're really looking for a gaming laptop, you probably are well better off with a GeForce RTX GPU rather than something like a Quadro graphics card, because Quadros are really geared for, like I said, serious people who are working in professional environments like studios or uh, rendering 3D assets that requires all of that hardware. But this will certainly push the price of the studio lineup of laptops because if you look at the desktop market, the Quattro 5000 has more than 3000 CUDA cores and it puts it right between the $700 RTX 2080 and $1000 RTX 2080 Ti. However, it costs about $2,100. And it actually makes me wonder how much of a price premium we could expect by implementing a Quadro GPU inside a laptop. The other thing that's important to me or something that I should mention is that as a content creator myself, you know, making videos and of course using programs like Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve, I don't particularly see Quadro as a real investment because, you know, the RTX GPUs are well taken advantage of, especially in DaVinci Resolve. So, you know, Quadro doesn't look like it's gonna add a super substantial increase in rendering performance or playback performance because the current RTX hardware is plenty enough for content creation, like making videos. But like I said, there is a specific type of user that might take advantage of all the hardware that Quadro offers. And I think that's what uh, Razer is trying to approach here. Now we did inquire about pricing for the new Blade Studio lineup of laptops, but unfortunately Razer wouldn't tell us anything. I mean, all they did mention was that they were gonna be very expensive. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see how much they're gonna cost when it's officially available. And I get it. I mean, they're trying to compete against Apple and their MacBook Pros with what you know, they're offering the ProVec graphics. And of course, at this point, you're getting an eight core 16 thread CPU. So, you know, if I configure a MacBook Pro to its best, you will be easily spending at least six grand or more. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think Razer is trying to kind of catch up and compare or compete against uh, those markets. So, like I said, there are a couple of things that concerns me. One is, of course, temperatures. Uh, I'm really interested to see how that eight core 16 threaded CPU can perform uh, in that 17 inch chassis. It should be okay, but hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of those. And secondly, I'd like to see extended warranty support for these new professional laptops because pros definitely need that additional support. They'll certainly like it because, you know, Apple offers one of the best customer service out there and they are paying a premium for that. So let me know what you guys think about the Blade 15 Studio and the Blade 17 Studio. Uh, do you, are you guys in interested in this whole implementation of the Quadro RTX GPUs? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I'm Ebro with Hardware Canucks. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.